you ever wonder where the water goes when it disappears down your drain? Or maybe you've wondered how a golf course can afford to provide irrigation for greens and fairways. You may have even noticed the multicolored pipes and wondered what the different colors mean. The answers to all these questions begin with sewage. The process of treating raw sewage, or wastewater as it's sometimes called, does happen naturally, but it's a long, slow process. To shorten the time it takes to treat sewage, municipalities operate sewage or wastewater treatment facilities. In our county, Charlotte County Utilities operates four sewage treatment plants called Water Reclamation Facilities, or WRFs for short. Anything that is flushed, washed, or drained from your house becomes sewage and ends up at a WRF by flowing through green color pipes. All the utility lines are color coded just for the protection so there are no what we'd call cross connections where someone would say, well this certainly looks like water, I'll just connect to this pipe. Color coding pipes is a standard practice across the country and ensures everyone knows exactly what is flowing through a pipe. Sewage flows through green pipes and is typically about 99.98% water, but the remainder can be toxic to humans and wildlife. There's a lot of elements that are in raw sewage, even though it's mostly water, that can pollute and uh, create illnesses, sickness. Charlotte County Utilities takes the treatment process one step farther and produces a reusable product called effluent, or reclaimed water. So when it comes out, it's, you know, it starts the product that leaves your house and it comes out, you know, a very clear um, product that is water, basically just water. CCU's reclaimed water creates an efficient source for irrigation that doesn't unnecessarily waste our valuable drinking water supply. Southwest Florida has a water shortage problem and uh, pulling from groundwater wells uh, creates a problem with saltwater intrusion. Reclaimed water is a very clean, very viable source for lawn irrigation, it saves the aquifer, protects the waters for other purposes. One way golf courses can afford water for irrigation is by purchasing reclaimed water from CCU. The price for our uh, consumers is less than if they used, we do have some residential users, is much less than if they used some type of uh, potable water for irrigation. Current reclaimed water customers include golf courses, homeowners associations, mobile home parks, and the Charlotte County Sports Park. Reclaimed customers pay as little as 31 cents per thousand gallons of reclaimed usage compared to almost eight dollars per thousand gallons if they're using potable water. We would like to see our Reclaimed water is used more and more by our citizens, and we're slowly getting to that point. Right now, we're at about a 45% of our reclaimed water is actually used. Most of Charlotte County's reclaimed water is produced by the Eastport WRF, but the bulk of the reclaimed water customers are located in the western part of the county. A new pump station installed in Rotunda allows CCU to pump reclaimed water across the county through purple reclaimed water pipes. It's Pantone purple is the uh, color that the uh, DEP decided that that uh, reclaim line should be, and they're easily recognizable, um, so that it eliminates the mistakes and the possibility of someone piping into that. CCU's reclaimed water is tested daily to ensure they are producing a safe product. Most people probably do not realize the process that this plant goes through to produce quality water and the fact that it's tested every day to make sure the quality is there, but it is, and it's, it is a very safe source of irrigation water. To show residents how raw sewage is converted into a safe water source, CCU provides tours of their treatment facilities. Don Turpin has been twice. I was just totally amazed by the workings, and it was just fascinating to me how you can take the sewage and turn out a product this potable. Rachel Musselwhite used the tour to educate her son Noah. I actually pulled him out of school today to have a learning experience hands-on. Um, we read about it in the newspaper and thought it would be a good learning opportunity. You can't learn everything from a book. Marianne Bosco says she was definitely impressed by the sewage treatment process. I think it was fascinating. I have never been to a facility like this. I'm impressed at how modern it is and the whole process of doing the uh, uh, 
reclaimed water is fascinating. In order for you to see the process firsthand, the chief operator of the Rotunda WRF, John McGinnis, led CCTV through a tour of his facility. This is the headworks in the Rotunda WRF. It is the, the front line where all the raw sewage comes in first into the facility. And before we can biologically treat the sewage, we need to remove a lot of the debris and elements that are untreatable. Plan operators report removing everything from toys to chunks of wood from sewage during the screening process. This is a rotary drum screen. This is where all the raw sewage comes in. To give you an idea of what it looks like. You have a lot of debris. There is a slight odor of hydrogen sulfide. It's one of the most offensive odors known to man. You can uh, detect it at a very low limit. And uh, it smells like rotten eggs, very distinctive smell. But you can see it, it's mostly water. It looks like fairly clean water coming in, but you can see the debris and junk that's left behind. Once the sewage has been screened, the next step is removing the toxicity. So the easiest way to treat the toxicity in the raw sewage is to use the microorganisms that are found in the raw sewage and harbor a whole population of them so they can treat the incoming raw sewage. Microorganisms that we use are living beings just like you and I and they need air and they need food. So we provide the air through blowers taking the air that we're breathing right now and pumping it into the water. That's why you see it bubbling and the food is the raw sewage. So they're breathing, they're eating, they're happy, they're growing and multiplying like any other population. Traditionally, after the bacteria have been aerated, they usually go to a circular tank called a clarifier. And since the bacteria and microorganisms are heavier than water, they settle out to the floor and the clean water overflows the top of the tank. And then from there, it ends up being filtered and disinfected. At Rotunda, it's a little bit different where instead of clarifying, we're actually physically filtering the sludge. So from our aeration basin, it flows into the MBR tanks and we have uh, submersible membranes that are spaghetti-like, very long, skinny, and they're hollow on the inside and perforated on the outside. And what's happening is there's a pump attached to those membranes and they're sucking clean water out from the sludge. McGinnis says the spaghetti-type filtering process is very effective and produces a clean final product. But like at every WRF, the reclaimed water is still treated with chlorine bleach. The final effluent from the wastewater treatment facility needs to be disinfected. There's a chance that there could be some pathogens or some harmful things in the water still. So we disinfect it with bleach. And this is not really household bleach. It's about two to two and a half times stronger than maybe Clorox or something like that. But proportionately, you can see that the green pipe is all the effluent that's basically uh, been produced by the treatment facility whereas the yellow line is the bleach injection line. By producing a reusable water supply, CCU continues to be good stewards of our valuable drinking water resource. While 71% of the earth is covered by water, very little of it is drinkable. So finding innovative ways to conserve and reuse is important, and one of the reasons CCU is committed to creating and using reclaimed water. For more information about how to become a Reclaim Water customer or to find out about the tour schedule, go to our website at www.charlottecountyfl.gov and click on Water and Sewer under Popular Links.